Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say thank you for the support. I really do appreciate it. I'm trying to get 100,000 subscribers, so if you want to help me out, make sure to subscribe. Now enjoy the video. One hundred ninety-eight, one hundred ninety-nine, two hundred. Whoo! Now that was an exercise. Where's my wall? There it is. Ah. Whoo! Oh, hey, Sunflower. I haven't seen you in a bit. What are you doing here at the gym? You here to exercise or something? Cool. I mean, do you mind if I help you out or watch or something like that? No? Okay, cool. All right, so how you been? Oh, that's good. Glad all your training's getting all done and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Of course I'm proud of you, Sunflower. I mean, look at you. You're looking like a great hero already. Yeah. I mean, with all your hard training, the stuff you've done with Endeavor, Hawks, even Aizawa... I think you're one of the first students to be trained by three teachers alone. I think the most student, the most students, <laughs> look at me, messing up on my own words. What I meant to say was, I think you might be the first student to be trained by three teachers. Mm hmm. I think the only biggest number of teachers I've seen with a student is two, and that was Midoriya. Yeah, he was trained by All Might and Endeavor. <laughs> One of the greatest heroes alive. Mm-hmm. I mean, not to brag or anything, but I had a good trainer too. You know Sir, Sir Night Eye, right? Yeah, he was a great trainer. Real great trainer. And I'm really proud to say that he was my mentor. Well, I say was because, well, he passed away fighting off, uh, what was his name? Overhaul, I think? Yeah, but luckily he's in jail, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. But sadly, he did take his own life, not take his own life, he fought and lost his life, fighting him. But it's okay. As long as he knew that he was a great trainer, then, well, I think he was happy. Yeah. I mean, he always told me to keep a smile on my face because, well, we're heroes. We're supposed to bring happiness to people. And I'm taking that to heart. I'm always going to keep a smile on my face, even in the face of danger. That's what Sir would want. Well, but besides that, enough about me going off about my mentor. How is your training, basically? Hmm. I'm glad to hear that, that you're almost done with it. I mean, I said that already, but I'm still glad that you're almost done with it. You know what that means? You're going to be in the front lines. You're going to be a true hero. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait for you and I to be out there someday. If we get called for some danger, and then we both roll up? <laughs> 
Well, you could say that villain, that villain right there is going to answer to some power. No? Man, I, I thought everyone would like that. Do you have a catchphrase or anything like that? You don't have a catchphrase? Huh. Well, I mean, with every hero I've worked with, or like on the side of working with them, I always heard them have like a catchphrase of some sort. Yeah, well, not all heroes can have one. I understand. It's enough work already to save people. I get it. But, uh, yeah. Have you been training your quirk recently, though? Because, although physical attributes is a good reason for heroism, but your quirk is, like, your main power, and you still have to train that. So, have you been training your quirk as of recently? Hmm. Right. So, Endeavor is teaching you more to be compatible with your physical traits than your quirks. Okay. I never really think Endeavor would be the type of guy to help others with their physical attributes. I mean, I've always seen him use his quirk all the time to deal with villains and whatnot. So, I don't know. It just seems kind of weird that he would help you with, like, your physical training. I thought that would be more of a Hawks type of situation, but I digress. Hmm? Me? Well, like I said, I've been trained by Sir Nighteye. He's taught me how to use my quirk pretty well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, hmm, I don't know if I have days off, but I want to try to take you out on a dinner. Because, well, <laughs> let's be honest, Sunflower, we have been talking for a little bit, and I want to reconnect with you. I miss you a lot. And again, sorry for being just, uh, well, you know, not open. I'm always working as a pro hero now. And, well, the hero organization in the U.S., well, they love me. So I always go back there to help them out. No, I don't pay for my own flights. They pay for them. <laughs> yeah, they really like me over there for some reason. I don't know, every time I save a city from a villain or something, the whole city blows up in excitement when they see me. They even like my catchphrase. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe. I have been to the United States a lot. So, I mean, just bunkering down there being an American hero. I mean, like, that would be cool and all, but my home's here in Japan. I don't want to abandon my own home. Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather stay here. Well, I mean, traveling the world is cool and all, but, you know, you get homesick. I get homesick when I'm in America. Because I miss you and everyone else. I miss All Might. I miss, uh, uh, Izuku. I miss Bakugo. I miss... You, especially Sunflower. I'll miss everything around here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I like you a lot, Sunflower. We're great, great friends. At least I think so. Do you think we're great friends? <laughs> I know, I'm messing with you. But yeah, I would love to take you out on a dinner or something, or a movies. Great. Well, I mean, but we both don't know if we have days off, so just text me with the, uh, your open schedules, or open scheduling, sorry, and I'll text you back to see where my open days are, and then we can figure out a date or something. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure, I can help you out with your exercise. Um, what, how much weight do you need? Oh, okay, I can get you that right there. Hold on, it's, where is it? It's over, over there, it's over there. I'll be right back.